So it is the start of a new week. I have new hair. I worked out, um, not worked out. I have new hair. I got it done on Saturday. I've always wanted to like do like gray in my hair for the longest time. So I think I'm just gonna stick with this color going forward. I'm looking in the viewfinder to see. And like fall is among us and I really wanted to paint my nails. They're not black, but they're like a dark purple color, which is interesting because like it's about to be spooky season. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Anyways, I am going to get ready to work out because it's 7.36 and I need to like start working out this morning. I'm going to do the standing ab exercise that I've been doing that I really love and I'm going to do um, probably an arm workout and I need to stretch because I honestly, I really haven't stretched or foam rolled since I showed you guys last like I'm just I need to be better about that last week I ended 214.7 and the week before I ended at like 213.6 so I feel like I'm going up and yesterday I weighed myself and I weighed 216.9 and I didn't eat that great yesterday because I just yesterday was kind of like a meh day <sighs> for me I didn't really do much but I didn't like feel like I was just craving all the things and I was just like you know what I'm just gonna give in to my cravings um, and eat what I want so I like had a burger I had ice cream I had candy and I looked at myself in the mirror and I was just like you know what to lose weight you have to be in a caloric deficit and that is just not what I'm doing so I am doing a challenge for myself and I'm gonna do it for a month so starting the 28th of September through October 28th my goal is to not have any sweets so no candies no ice cream I'm just not gonna do it no candies no ice cream I can have popcorn like I'm gonna still have like some snacks but it's gonna be like with my meals and it's not gonna be a lot so my goal is is going to include no candies no ice cream none of that stuff because my goal was to lose another 30 pounds this year and I basically gained like 15 pounds back like backwards I've gone backwards and I don't want to do that I don't want to end the year being at 233 I don't want to go back to where I was this is going to be challenging this is going to be hard but ultimately I'm gonna feel better about myself because honestly like when I'm losing weight and I'm getting smaller and I'm getting and I'm feeling comfortable in my body I feel so confident and I feel really good I want to be on this journey and I want to be better about this journey and like Yes, I understand we're in a pandemic. This year has just been crazy. But at some point, like, I'm getting older and I, and I want to be the healthiest version of myself and I don't want to go back. I started this journey with an intention of losing a lot of fat, leaning out, and then building muscle and getting the physique that I want. And also with the mind of being able to do pull-ups, to do push-ups, to do a single leg squat, to do like heavy deadlifts, to be a beast in the gym, to do like physical activities that I never thought I could do. Like, yes, I have aesthetic goals, but I also have like fitness goals of like endurance that I wanted to be able to do. There's like um, a trash truck here, so there's like noises everywhere. So if you can hear that, I'm sorry. But yeah, like I have aesthetic goals and I have fitness goals, physical goals that I want to achieve. Yes, I can achieve like those physical goals at any weight because I've seen people able to do single leg squats like uh, heavier and smaller weights than what I currently am. This is for myself. These are goals that I've set for myself that I want for myself. So this is me. This is what I want type of thing. So with all that said, it is 742. I need to get to my living room and do my workout. <laughs> Thank you. 
just finished cooking the chicken as you can see I'm having it with some vegetables so that is my lunch today and then I was coloring because I have a little coloring book here as well so I'm gonna continue watching Star Wars because I haven't really seen all the movies and everybody keeps saying like how great they are and I'm more of a Star Trek fan so we'll see I'm starting at the beginning the order that it tells you to on the Disney Plus app. So we'll see you guys if I become a Star Wars fan. I don't know. I'm currently having a piece of toast with some honey. This is gonna be tough. Also tell me why I was like, let's watch The Great British Bake Off. I mean, I've already seen it, but like, just have something playing in the background. 
And every time I look up, I just see something that looks so good. And I'm just like, this is torture. I should not do this to myself. And we're on bread week. So of course I caved in and got myself some toast. Also, I haven't had a lot of water today. And I need to up my water intake because it's absolutely deplorable. The amount of water that I've been drinking the past couple of days. If I just drank a lot of water, I wouldn't be this hungry. So, <laughs> dinner is looking pretty sad, but I'm having chicken with some survey vegetables and a toast with some um, honey. <laughs> but I thought I would show you something a little bit more exciting. So I got this coloring book from Target and I started coloring and I am very proud of how I was able to color this. Like that fish. And just like I'm getting it guys. All using these coloring pencils over here. This is going to take me forever. But it was honestly so therapeutic. All right, guys, so earlier I had three slices of bread, basically toast with honey on them, and I had another piece of chicken, so I'm like making myself some vegetables right now. I know the issue, I need to just drink more water instead of eating, because I just like want to eat and eat and eat, but I really just need to be drinking water because I'm not drinking a ton, a ton of water. I'm only drinking like one bottle one to two bottles and I should be drinking like three to four. So I'm currently making, cooking my stir fry vegetables as you can see. So that is cooking. I wanna lose weight guys. I want to lose weight. I want to be smaller. I want to not be this heavy anymore because I feel like I'm at a point where I am sick and tired of being heavy and I hate being at this size and I know this is not the positivity, the most positive talk ever, but like, it's just really how I'm feeling. Like, I don't like that I'm this big and I don't want to be this big. And I want to feel confident in my body. And I feel confident like when I'm losing that weight and when I'm, you know, like, and I know I'm on this journey to like lose the weight so I can get to that place that I want to be. And I understand that it's not like the perfect place. Um, but still like, I just want to lose weight. And I feel heavy. I feel very fat. I feel so fat. I feel so overweight. And my face is starting to like gain weight because I've gained weight. And I'm just like over it. But at the same time, like I'm, I'm the one who's putting food in my body, so I just, I need to find healthier snacks besides bread and honey. I need to buy like some blueberries or some carrots, like have vegetables on hand that I can snack on. I think that's what I need to do. I need to buy carrots or something. Or have a banana. Buy a banana so I can have that as a snack. I have mango, but they're not ready. So, yeah. Guys, losing weight is hard. And it kind of sucks. Never thought I could be this negative, but here it is. Here it is. I tried doing a flip and it like fell <laughs> on the stove. <laughs> Oh, I'm usually like not bad at them, but today was not the day. Anyways, that's going to be the update for me. That's literally all I had today was just like all that bread. So I'm going to have a little bit of juice and I will see you guys tomorrow morning for another workout.
Just doing those three leg exercises, I am like so sweaty. I also went up on the bands from the least resistance to medium resistance. And then the smallest one is like hard. My thighs, my legs are so big that I feel like if I went to the, the, the hardest resistance, it would like cut off my blood circulation. Also, it seems like very hard to pull apart. But yeah, I'm like, you can see I am sweating under my arms, under my boobs. I'm gonna try to do some more like butt stuff. I'm gonna do like a butt, um, like more focused on butt exercises. Now, I really should do lunges because I need my ankle strength. Oh, man, this workout today, just those three, back to back, three sets of 15 reps, 15 reps each, three times over, <sighs> minimal breaks in between. I need water before the third set, but oh my gosh, that was difficult. Which honestly, I like when my workouts make me sweat. Like I prefer workouts where I'm sweating, whereas to workouts where I'm not sweating, because then I know, for me, that's a good workout. And for me, like repetitive exercises, like circuit, causes me to sweat. So I prefer it. It is what I like. Okay, I'm gonna do some butt exercises. So I'm gonna angle this down. And we gonna get into the booty. It's like sweat dripping down my arm. It's like under here. Ah.
guys. So honestly, I am really liking this Vital Proteins Collagen Beauty Greens. Have not, I like don't mind the taste and how it can be a little bit, it's not grainy, it's like a little bit gritty, but it's really good. I'm currently making my oatmeal. I think yesterday I mentioned how I had like three slices of toast. I weighed myself this morning and I weigh basically the same that I did when I weighed myself over the weekend, so I'm maintaining weight again which is not what I want to do. So today's goal is to drink more water because that's honestly what I need to do. Yeah, I'm going to basically just try to drink more water. I think what I need to do, honestly, is just get like healthier snacks. So I'm gonna go on Pinterest. I'm gonna search the web for some like really healthy snacks that are hot foods or warm foods that I can eat. Maybe that could be like Brussels sprouts that are roasted with some balsamic vinegar. Cause I do like, there's a balsamic vinegar that's really good from Trader Joe's. I'm not a huge fan of balsamic vinegar, but the one that you can get at Trader Joe's is pretty good. I had it a couple years ago. I need to find the exact one. It's kind of a big bottle. I feel like that would be like a healthy snack to have. I'm trying to think of like, I mean, obviously there's like kale chips that you can have, but some brands are not. My I bought these kale chips from Costco and I do not like them, but I need to give them to Cub because I have one thing and I was just like, they do not, they're not my favorite. So I'm going to give the rest to her whenever I see her next. But yeah, I just need to find healthier snacks and I'm specifically looking at like vegetable type snacks so that I am not going back to like carb heavy snacks because that is like just like carb dense like just more carb foods is where my body is just like we're gonna take on this weight which is why I gain weight so quickly and people just have different bodies and I've learned that about my body is that I gain weight very quickly if I have even an ounce more of carb or even think about carbs like it's truly it's truly the tea so I'm about to have this lovely green juice. It looks gross, but honestly, like, I feel like you get used to it. So I'm definitely going to continue buying more of it. I don't feel like I've noticed a difference. Now that I think about it, I would say my skin. My skin, obviously, I've, I, I have noticed a difference in my skin. My skin lately, like, has had no freakouts. So I think that is probably where I'm noticing a difference because my skin has been, like, on point lately haven't had an issue no breakouts like dark spots are fading on my on my face in terms of like my nail growth my nails always like grow if i just drink water and hair support i don't know we'll see if there's any hair support but i have noticed a difference in my skin on my face in terms of the rest of my body i don't really know yeah maybe i would say like yeah my face and this also has probiotics which is really great okay my oatmeal is basically basically done so i'm gonna dress that right now and that is my oatmeal fuzzy socks or whatever I feel like that's that's good you know yeah I'm trying to get 
to like cooking at like a lower heat so that it doesn't come back at me. Got my vegetables with goat cheese. Just went to Costco and got a lot of groceries. Gonna go to Trader Joe's later, but thought I'd show you what I got. Tortilla chips. I also got these face shields because they were like 10.99 for 10 and they have glasses. So I thought that was cool. Two things of celery juice because I'm out. Just ran out this morning. Got the Brussels sprouts so I can make roasted Brussels sprouts as nice. More goat cheese. Strawberries for my oatmeal. Carrots for snacks. Shrimp. Protein. Frozen green beans. And stir fry vegetables and that is the haul all right just got back from Trader Joe's and this is what I got so got some oat milks because I am about to run out more eggs because I plan on baking more things and got more oatmeal stocked up on more peanut butter I feel like I always need to stock up on peanut butter for my um, oatmeal and I'm realizing that I need to up my fruit intake. So you saw that I got strawberries earlier from Costco. I got bananas as well, because I'm gonna add this to my oatmeal as toppers in the morning. Chia seeds, because I'm running out. Some plantain chips, because they're good. <laughs> and I got more apple cider vinegar, because I like to clean my chicken this way. I put water and like, some apple cider vinegar and let it soak so it can get off that weird taste that can sometimes be with chicken. And it's just like a thorough clean. My grandma told me to do that and cause she does that with her chicken. So that's what I started doing with my chicken. And I just feel like it's cleaner <laughs> and healthier that way. I got some golden berry mix. I got this golden berry mix because I plan on making bread and I want to add this to it so when i make bread it's gonna have all these like raisins and cranberries and blueberries and stuff like that in it so it'll be kind of like a sweet bed and i got the balsamic vinegar i don't really know if this was the one that i had all those years ago but thought you know with the brussels sprouts that i got that i'm gonna roast this will be good as a topper so we'll see if i like it. if i don't i need to use it because i bought it so not gonna waste uh topped up on some honey because i'm running low and i also got some peach oops i got some peach salsa my friend marie has like a um, mango salsa that she gets from trader joe's and i didn't see any so i was like i will go for the peach one instead now that i'm thinking about it i wonder if it is peach so I don't know if I showed my dinner, but I had dinner um, along with, I basically had what I had for lunch, which was chicken with stir fry vegetables and goat cheese and a couple handfuls of tortilla chips. So tucked into that right away, but I'm not gonna have any more. I'm done for the day. All the groceries that you saw that I got, it's gonna last me like two weeks essentially. Oat milk, I'll have to like top up on cause um, that's not gonna last, but I didn't want to like really overfill the fridge on my side um, with oat milk <laughs> So if I run out, I'll just go to the store and get oat milk later on um, Because that's like one thing that I need but everything else like will fit and Yeah, will last me quite a bit so I don't have to go to the grocery store all the time um, the only thing that I'll need to top up is probably the fruit because I like to eat my fruit right away because I don't like it going bad. And I will be having that on my oatmeal just so I'm incorporating more fruit into my diet. And I think I'm gonna do half a banana because the oatmeal that I have, I don't have like a ton of oatmeal, 
but I feel like doing half a banana will be suitable along with a couple of strawberries on top of my oatmeal going forward. Um, what else was I going to share? Oh yeah, when I was at Costco, I was very tempted to get these like milk chocolate clusters with salted caramel. Yeah, I was really tempted on getting those and I remembered I made a promise that I wouldn't buy any like sweet treats, um, no candies, no ice cream. I was very tempted, um, but I figured chips and salsa would be like a good savory snack because I really should be watching my sugar. And I also forget that I have savory snacks, so I don't reach for them as often. Um, so I don't go through them as quickly. So I think that is what's going to help me going forward. But yeah, I almost got chocolate when I was at Costco. And then I remembered I made a promise October 28th is when I will be able. Well, technically October 29th is when I'll be able to because October 28th would be like a full month of doing like no sweets and stuff like that. So just trying to keep that up. No ice cream, no sweets, no candy, none of that stuff. Although like, I think because of that, the first couple days during this week, I like craved a lot of food and just wanted all the carbs. And now I'm kind of like mellowing out off of that. So I'm gonna put these this food away and I'm gonna watch Bob's Burgers and do some trainings on my laptop and call it a night.
this is what I look like this morning. But yeah, I am glad that food shop went really well yesterday because I got a lot of healthy things. So going forward, hoping this weight will just go down, girl, because I am tired of steadily going up and then maintaining it during the week, which is what's been happening this week. So we'll do a weigh-in tomorrow. But yeah, also I talked to my friend last night and she did confirm it's not a mango salsa. It's actually the peach salsa. And I had some last night with the chips. And honestly, it's so good from Trader Joe's. So highly recommend. It's like not super tomatoey. It's kind of sweet. It just it hits the spot. It's really, really good. I love it. Guys, after eating that meal for lunch, I am still so incredibly full. And it's been about an hour since I've eaten. Like, I've just been drinking water because I am trying to up my water intake. I am so, so full. I did have before lunch a couple handfuls of chips with the peach salsa that I showed you guys earlier. Salsa, salsa. Now I'm questioning how I say salsa. Salsa, salsa. Salsa. Oh my gosh, who do I think I am? Anyways, had a couple handfuls of that with some peach salsa and I am, I just... I'm not like bursting at the seams, but I can just feel how full I am and I'm just like, I can't eat anymore. <laughs> so lunch might have been my final meal. I don't really understand, but yeah. Also, like, I'm pretty sure at the end of last week, let me get this little app thing to see like what my weight is. This past Sunday was the 27th, okay, of September. So I weighed 216, like on Friday, no, Saturday, I weighed 214, and then I had my meals that I'm pretty sure that I showed you, because I got my hair done this past weekend. Honestly, like the weeks are just going by in a way that I don't really know when is when you know what i mean i just i can't keep track anymore but anyways i had food that sunday and then um that saturday and then on sunday i weighed 216 and i have maintained that weight this week 216 which is not not what i want at all so we'll see if I weigh 216 tomorrow morning. I just feel extremely full right now. Anyways, I will check in with you guys later if I eat any more. Right now, I, I can't even think about food. It's painful. All right, so I had more food. I basically finished. <laughs> I finished the meat salsa. It was so good. Basically, it had 11 servings, which was 20 calories each. Serving. So, quite uh, And a couple handfuls of chips. That's like less than 300 calories. This was 220 calories total. So, I had that with some chips. Still have quite a few in there. But yeah, I am just going to continue drinking water for the rest of the night. Yeah, that is my uh, food diary for today. I weighed myself this morning. And yeah, still 216. Still maintaining that wake. Weight, not wake. <laughs> but the difference is that I bought really, really healthy food. So I'm not going to be eating out because I have plenty of food here at home 
and I really need to eat that food instead of going out to eat or buying like Chick-fil-A or getting Five Guys or whatever like food that is out there. It's pretty late. It's 10.39 in the morning. I think I haven't, I didn't do my dishes last night. So like I have to clean all my dishes first, but I need to do that. And then I will make myself something to eat. I don't know if I should make breakfast food or lunch food. I'm not entirely sure. I think I'm gonna make myself a matcha latte and have some toast. <laughs> oh, I don't have bread, so I can't make toast. Shoot! Yeah, I'll just make myself a matcha latte. Cause why not? And then I'll figure out like what I'm gonna make for my meal, but in the meantime, I'm going to wash dishes and get my dishes done, watch some Bob's Burgers. I was planning on going to the mountains this morning, but I woke up late. I'm gonna make food. I'm gonna do dishes and then figure out what, I, you guys will see what I end up making because I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so breakfast is a little weird today. I made my matcha latte, ice, and then I have some toast. I had like some Ezekiel bread like kind of deep in the freezer, so this is the last piece. I'm having it with some honey and mango. That is my breakfast this morning, <laughs> slash lunch, I guess. I don't know, it's 11.03, so I'm gonna eat this and watch some TV. And then I'll check in with you guys later on what I eat next because I really want to go back to Trader Joe's and get some more salsa, peach salsa, because it's so good and it's all I want. Mm. I just got back from the store. I went to Trader Joe's because my chips that you can see over there. Can you see that? Chips right there are ready for me to devour, but since I finished that salsa, I felt weird going into Trader Joe's and just buying salsa. Um, I got the peach salsa. I got a couple just so that I don't need to go back for a while. Um, three to be exact. And then I felt weird about it, so I was like, I will get some kefir, some goat milk kefir, because that's really good source of probiotics and alkaline water. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge put the rest of the stuff in the cabinet and get into this salsa and watch more Bob's Burgers because that is my Saturday. I think I'm gonna go for a hike today actually because getting outside was really, really nice. It's like perfect fall weather, which I love fall weather, um, but I haven't really gotten outside that much this week. I haven't been really going out, you know, to Maine. So I'm gonna tuck into these chips with the salsa and have me some alkaline water and, ooh, blurry, blurry, watch some Bob's Burgers on the telly. I've been like watching a lot of YouTubers from Yorkshire and Leeds. So I've been putting on this accent. It's not really good though, is it? Um, if you're from Yorkshire, from Leeds, you can probably tell me if my accent's really good or not, but I don't know. Who knows if I'll even leave this bit in, but probably will because I'm not going to redo this and it's pointless. And I feel like I can do a better accent when I'm by myself and not in front of other people. So yeah, just putting this on the internet to live forever with my accent. Yikes. Anyways, I'm going to stop doing that now and I'm going to tuck into my chips. We may solve that. I'm not sure of what I see. Cupid, don't f with me. Are you telling me this is a sign? She's looking in my eyes, and I don't see no other guys. Are you telling me this is a sign? Yeah.